Yo, 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 what's going on, man? Ready to get into it. Let's straight dive right into it. All right. Now we have a powerhouse dream team couple that just hit the scenes with an investment. I'm talking about Lil Yachty and Bad Barbie. They just invested in a Jewish dating app. All yeah. right. And I, I'm not sure what's the name of the app, but I know the investment happened. Uh, so my question is, how should you decide who to partner with when it comes to investments? Um, so you got to think there's a difference between sponsors and the investments you make. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes people just do the investment just to make money. Mm -hmm. Like some people definitely hopped in the GameStop just to make money for that short period of time that it was going way up or they just hopped into AMC or Blackberry and like all those Reddit stocks. They yeah. Definitely just hopped into those. To either to make money, like be one of the guys that just caught the wave, or they really were trying to like mess over uh, like the hedge fund people mm -hmm. trying to short those stocks. Mm -hmm. um, but then the other side of that would be sponsors. So sponsors for artists, you really want to have it align with your brand. You don't want to just have like some random sponsorships. You're selling bubble tea or whatever <laughs> on Instagram, and it really makes no sense with yeah. the brand. Yeah. Uh, that, that just is like desperation yeah. at that point. You're just like trying to see who's going to sponsor you. Yeah. There's a bunch of companies out there who like will pair influencers with uh, sponsors or, you know, you get people in your DMs or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, seeing if they'll sponsor you. But sometimes it's just not a good fit. Yeah. So you just have to ask yourself, um, am I going to take something now that's going to crowd up my feed? Mm -hmm. And then make me look worse for people who I actually want to sponsor me later. Hundred um, percent. But this invest—it sounds like an investment to me. Yeah. Um, so let me see here. Scoop Investments' first opportunity is investing in the Lost Club, a Jewish dating app. Um, the app describes itself as being for Jews with ridiculously high standards. <laughs> The developers describe the app as a virtual speakeasy hidden within an old school deli. That is a description wow. if I've heard it. Uh, it doesn't rely on algorithms like traditional dating apps. Rather, it uses actual human matchmakers. Wow. Okay. Uh, so okay. one wow. out, out of all that, that doesn't sound scalable. Um, so the, the app itself, like you can invest in whatever you want, but just if I would, I don't know if I would have taken <laughs> that opportunity just because like my mindset, um, I mean, you can have some automation paired with some human mm -hmm. elements. I mean, that's kind of what we do. Mm -hmm. um, but that's also why I wouldn't take on outside investors <laughs> for this company. Yeah. Uh, because like when when people invest in a business, mm -hmm. like we go back to Shark Tank a lot um, to get you guys to just like kind of grasp your head around it all. Like the questions they ask the business owner mm -hmm. on Shark Tank. Um, are usually questions around like scalability. Right. They're always looking for this company to grow year over year. Mm -hmm. Like even if you had a really great year, um, they'd be like, oh, why did sales slow down? Mm -hmm. It's like you had a lot of sales, mm -hmm. but they always want to know why did the sales slow down? Yeah. Essentially, they are big on automation. They're big on growth. They're big on scaling. So, um, yeah, that's just part of the article, guys. You can you can go look it up. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read this whole one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show how we read some other whole ones. Uh, but there's you know there's good investment opportunities out there. So you know definitely build your portfolio. Um, but the the best investment you're gonna make is in you. Mm -hmm. So that's right. Um, build your brand first, and then you know you can look at outside investments. Uh, one thing for entrepreneurs in particular is you don't put as much stock in other people' company. You yeah. put the most stock in you because you're your best investment. Yeah, so, yeah that's good. Um, definitely diversify a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I'd have taken <laughs> this one, but hey, I mean, yeah. you know, good for them. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it works out for them. Let's go.